Alexander is going to give uh, the first talk. It's about cutting singular into pieces. We have cut matrices into pieces. We have cut singular matrices into pieces. But we haven't cut singular into pieces yet. No. Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, future singular state. Okay. What does field mean? What? What does field mean? Lake Lake is, uh, okay, it's uh, German for playground. It was, um, well, an initial name for this experimental um, efforts. Uh, maybe it will change in the future, just to be singular. Okay, so if one uh, imagines that all singular... <laughs> oh, this is it. Um, um, uh, so the old singular contained uh, three major parts, a formal factorial, uh, and three factorial together, and the singular kernel in the interpreter. So also lip singular uh, was built uh, from these parts. Unfortunately, the ma major problem with this uh, was that um, um, it was difficult to uh, take smaller parts uh, and used separately. For instance, you can, couldn't uh, take uh, essential data structures uh, for coefficients or for polynomials and uh, use in your project. Now we are trying to address that. As well as uh, doing a uh, um, modernization of code base, let's say, clean design and then the dependencies between uh, separate parts uh, and making separate parts, actually, modernization, so that it would be easy to maintain class, to learn for external developers, and to contribute for external people. So, software without uh, external developers, or their con contribution will die. Okay. Now, how it may look like. So this is parts. Now, so, we have not the last uh, single counter kernel and interpreter in the following uh, libraries that are more or less independent, can be used separately. Uh, there are some support libraries, uh, well, like finding a single resources libraries uh, and so on. Uh, you shouldn't actually care about them, just for completeness. Then uh, there are two um, basic uh, paths, uh, like coefficients and uh, uh, repairs and polys. They handle uh, correspondingly singular polynomial coefficients and polynomials. Um, I will talk about this uh, in, uh, in a while. Um, so basically you can take this uh, libraries and the use of just separate data structures. So no, no algorithms there. Now uh, algorithms uh, still remain um, in the lib kernel, also we separated some stuff, but uh, it's under construction, so we will continue splitting uh, algorithms into independent pieces. They are all based on previous parts. And there is also lib singular. Well, it's just a singular interpreter. Um, the main point here is that uh, singular now is using this library. So, as you know, in previously, uh, singular was not actually using deep uh, singular in any case. Um, it was just for external contributors, oh, sorry, external usage, uh, primarily developed for Sage. Uh, now it is used for GAP, uh, GFAM, and Polymer experimentally. Okay, uh, so we also have changed the uh, singular build system uh, to use automate and autoconf. It used to use uh, autoconf and custom made uh, raw, custom made files, but well, now it should be more maintainable, easy to change and extend. Um, and yeah, uh, the work is in progress, so our interface and build system are still. Um, remain yeah, unstable a bit. Uh, everything is on the GitHub, uh, uh, so under a singular umbrella we have a sources repository. Uh, then there are two branches, uh, one master is a usual stable uh, singular okay, development version 
of uh, the officials in there. And uh, there is the Hinduism uh, branch where place our experiment. Okay, now let me uh, shortly remind about the uh, path of Simbula, like Omelog. This is Simbula, a memory log, uh, management library. So it is responsible for quite a lot of percentage of Simbula performance. Um, so this is a Simbula 1C library by Olaf Parkman, a long time ago. So it's a bit old, uh, I will say why. <coughs> and allows you to locate and delocate uh, uh, blocks of fixed small size just in very very few instru uh, machine instructions so you don't even call anything so even a uh, uh, function call is expensive so it's extremely fast if you use it uh, on lower level um, or it also provides you a very high uh, locality of reference so that uh, consecutive allocated uh, pieces of uh, memory will be in the same just literally next to each other so in the same uh, page then well mem a large memory box will not be there well system will handle that um, it has a small maintenance overhead, means that uh, uh, for managing all these uh, um, blocks of, of memory, uh, so the use for homolog is uh, small compared to uh, the whole amount of memory. Uh, it has several interface levels that are here. And also um, provide some debugging output if you ask it. So it's uh, possible to look for uh, memory um, writes outside uh, your memory blocks and uh, um, yeah, I guess you can uh, detect memory leaks. Uh, it's customizable, tunable and so on. Unfortunately it was developed a uh, long time ago and uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's not thread safe, uh, but uh, it's been changed right now. It's worked by Christian and uh, Hans. Okay. Uh, more of it doesn't provide support garbage collection, which was a minor problem while uh, uh, working this gap. Um, okay, factory is a uh, library developed by Martin Lee. Yeah. It uh, handles multivariate sparse recursively represented polynomials uh, over uh, rationals, uh, um, final fields, and algebraic stations of them. Uh, it's a huge collection of. Uh, <coughs> Okay. Uh, so it's a huge collection of factorization algorithms. Uh, and it also supports computing GCD determinants, uh, characteristic sets, resultants, and uh, related stuff. Uh, at the moment, it also incorporates HCD flag. Did we do something wrong? Okay, uh, we'll try to speak louder. It's fine. Right. Um, so uh, LeapFuck is the library um, rep uh, responsible for computing characteristic sets, but now it's incorporated, so, okay. Better now. It uses GMP for the rational sense of the final field, and uh, it uh, used to use NDL for many uh, algorithms, but uh, now we're trying to use Sprint instead. Not, so at the moment we are standing on them both, but uh, that should change. Uh, it is a library used by Simbula, Sage, and Mercury too. So I don't know. Yeah. Usually if uh, Sage uh, doesn't uh, compute for so the factory is responsible. It's guilty. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um, so now the very uh, major thing we have separated the coefficient domains out of polynomial ring. So one can uh, only work with uh, uh, numbers of with uh, rational or uh, finite uh, fields or uh, GF for small uh, numbers of elements. Uh, there are also uh, real numbers implemented uh, as flows or as uh, GMP flow numbers. Uh, we can work with complex numbers in GMP. Moreover, we have some uh, arithmetic field, uh, rings uh, like uh, integers and factors, different factors. Integers. Um, yeah. It supports uh, basic operation, it means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on. Um, it has a common interface for all these fields or rings. So you don't actually care what you're working with. Just, you just say, add and so I will solve it. Okay. Uh, it can map, uh, so you can map elements between different coefficient domains. So I call them the coefficient bands and say these uh, elements are used as co uh, coefficients for polynomials. But well, it, it must not be just historical name. Uh, so elements are called numbers uh, and coefficient domains are called apps. Uh, mm, numbers managed and described by apps. For instance, if you want to uh, add uh, two numbers, you just say you. Uh, uh, and add and specify to which coefficient domain they belong. So a uh, coefficient domain handles the, all the operations. Numbers are just the data structure in, and uh, the internal representation is up to uh, coefficient domain. They, um, so basically they are void star pointers. Uh, so it can be anything, either loans or pointer to something complicated. Uh, so our goal was to make it possible to do um, for end user to register and use uh, your own uh, coefficient domain, like PRF numbers and so on. So you probably can um, make human stage objects into something that can be used by simple action. But well, we are almost done with that. Uh, it's a C plus plus C library which is standalone. That means you can just take it and uh, work with uh, elements as you uh, yeah, now uh, the polynomials. Uh, so, Flip Polis is a library uh, uh, which handles basic of uh, arithmetic, addition, multiplication, division, and transformation, and so on. For polynomial algebra, the quotient and localization, as well as non repetitive uh, yeah, algebras and uh, um, polynomial rings or arithmetic rings. So all the uh, single rings, uh, and of course maybe between uh, such rings. Um, yes. Um, it also provides uh, the more coefficient domains like uh, okay, and more, but. Yeah, algebra, algebraic and uh, transcendental extensions of uh, and uh, prime fields. Uh, the goal was to make it possible to build uh, towers of uh, ring extensions. I mean, algebraic and transcendental extensions, but it's under. Uh, well, it wasn't finished, so right now we are stuck with <coughs> this extension only. But it will, uh, should be able to visit. Uh, so, polynomials are uh, called polys and uh, polynomial rings are ring. Um, so, ring manages and describes uh, what, uh, how to understand poly. Uh, so, polynomial is a linked uh, list of uh, terms uh, that is coefficient and exponent array. This exponent array is uh, just uh, an array Lungs, and uh, how to understand it uh, 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 <coughs> uh, by considering ring objects. So if you want to add two, two polynomials, you say add for instance and specify to which ring is it. 
So which ring should come in? Um, you can so they should be corresponding. Um, yeah, of course we also have geo buckets, so the usual uh, data structure we use for repeated uh, additions of uh, multiple many polynomials if uh, intermediate results are not important. And well, in fact, the singular polynomials um, um, also stay for vectors. So each polynomial has a component uh, index, and uh, if it is zero, it's uh, just polynomial. If it is not zero, it's a modular term. Uh, correspondingly, ideals are just modules. Uh, well, and yes, this uh, can be uh, used standalone, so uh, it's relatively easy to build some default uh, rings. Uh, you may need to do some effort to uh, do something unusual, but it's uh, very easy to learn and yeah, it's usable already. So, so far we don't have any other algorithms there, it's just data structures. Uh, all the algorithms like Grobner bases and normal forms, these are uh, resolutions, uh, um, you know, for uh, non intuitive rings uh, belong to the canon, so we are working on separating them. So there are also commutatorical uh, stuff like uh, dimension, multiplicity, Hilbert functions, and related. Uh, uh, in algebra and so on and so on. So at uh, the moment uh, it was relatively easy to separate numerical uh, computations into weak numerics, but well, it's under development. Uh, I think uh, yeah, almost, almost done. So at the moment we are almost finished with this project. Uh, so I mean, it's usable already. Uh, some minor, fix to fix, uh, minor issues to fix, but uh, um, it would be nice uh, if people would try to use to build it, use it, and uh, report uh, the issues. So it would be great. So thank you for your day. It's a work in progress. So we uh, work on this. It's one of the goals. Yeah, okay. it was of course one of the goals since we want to um, work with gap and uh, the future gap is uh, parallel and thread. That's it. So it's okay. now goals. How come can you intend to work in the direction of thread safety without touching homolog if homolog is not thread safe? Uh, we are working on uh, thread safe homolog.